Alrighty guys, welcome back to Dakota Farms and Cattle. Today I'm going to show you my latest uh, piece of equipment that I've purchased. A uh, Stony Point 5410 hay mower caddy. I picked this up on Saturday. And uh, I really just got tired of having to hook up the hay mower to the three point of the tractor all the time. Uh, it was really just kind of becoming a lot of work, and I do a lot of my farming at night after I get off uh, work. Um, so having this caddy, I think, is really going to cut down on the amount of time it takes for me to um, hook the mower up and unhook it. But uh, I got it Saturday, and I hooked it up last night to the mower, and Honestly, it actually hooked up to the mower a whole lot easier than I really expected it to. Um, I expected it to be more of kind of a pain to hook up to this mower than I thought it was, but it actually turned out to go on really easily. All we did is we loosened up these U-bolts on either side, uh, widened them out, but backed the caddy up to the mower, moved them back over, and I thought they were going to be a pain to slide over because whereas with a tractor you can move the links um back and forth if they're telescoping to get it this is not telescoping it just took a little bit of maneuvering with the tractor but it went on really really easily um the only thing i have to do and i actually have the rope sitting in the truck is i got to make this rope uh longer that goes to the uh, for the transport lock on the mower. Uh, I have to make it longer, which, like I said, I just picked up rope today. So uh, tomorrow I'll be able to take care of that problem. But uh, I picked this thing up in uh, from Foshi Equipment Company, and it's a really really nice caddy. Um, my first impressions of it is when we went and picked it up. It was a whole lot heavier than what we thought it was. We took our um, half-ton truck down there. And um, when you let the jack down, it actually squatted the back of the truck a little bit. Which I didn't, of course, it didn't have a mower on it. It was just the caddy. Um, it actually squatted the back of the truck a little bit when we put it on. Uh, and you could tell it was heavy because it bounced a lot. Uh, because of these big floater tires on it. Um, but I think it, I don't think it will bounce as much as it did when we brought it home because now it'll have the weight of the mower on the back of it and it should balance it out a whole lot, uh, better. But I hooked it up to the big tractor, to the big 105, uh, yesterday. And, um, I'm waiting to get my PTO shaft back for the front here. Um, a piece of shaft was a little long, and we took it to somebody that has a bandsaw, and they cut the PTO shaft just a little bit, um, so it would have ample room to clear, uh, when we make turns and go in ditches and stuff, because a lot of the ground that, uh, that we mow on is very hilly, and you do not want this PTO shaft on the front to bind up in any way. Uh, because if it ha does happen to bind up, then you're in big, big trouble. But um, this one does come standard, or it, it did come, uh, with the optional three-point lift cylinder, which is nice. Some of those, I looked at some at another dealership, they only had the manual hand crank for the lift, and I, I didn't like that. I like that hydraulic. I go into too many different fields to have to get out and manually ratchet that up every single time but uh it's got greasable carrier bearings it's got a carrier bearing right here and then it's got another carrier bearing right here and they are indeed greasable the front one's greasable and the back one i'm pretty sure the back one's greasable maybe i'm wrong yep it is greasable 
I just didn't see the grease thing at first. But both carrier brains are greasable on this. And uh, specs on this thing say it weighs over a ton, over 2,000 pounds. Uh, which is actually really, really heavy. I think this thing's going to handle the uh, the side hills that we have a whole lot better than having the mower fixed on the back of the tractor. And it'll be easier to hook up, and I could could run it on my fifty if I on my little fifty horse if I needed to. I don't really intend on running it on that tractor. But I guess if it does come down to it, I could always do that. But there's going to be more videos of this thing in operation. I'm going to post another review video um, probably towards the end of the year once I run it a little bit and figure out how it's going to actually work a little bit better. Because I have run, uh, before I before I actually bought this mower, the guy that owned the mower before me had it on a caddy several, several years ago. Uh, but he ended up selling the caddy a few years before I ended up buying that mower from him. So um, I've run a caddy before, and I do like how they pull. I think the caddies pull a whole lot better than just the mowers on the three-point. Um, yes, the mower is close to the tractor. Uh, but in my opinion, I kind of like uh, the way you can turn and make 90-degree corners with a mower on a caddy. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion on these sort of things, and that's just mine. So, um, I guess that's all for today. I just wanted to uh, show everyone what I got because there's not a whole lot of videos out there. On these Stony Point caddies, there's a few of the um, Kelly, I believe, I believe they're called Kelly Manufacturing, the Kelly Manufacturing caddies that have the offset wheels. But there's no videos on the Stony Point caddies. And I like the ones that have the, the tires straight across instead of the offset ones. Um, but that's going to be all for today. Uh, please like comment subscribe and follow for more to see this mower caddy in action